Now we're going to add our works cited and works consulted. I'm going to go to the end of the pa paper and I'm going to insert a page break. And now I'm going to go to my Zotero. I'm going to click my Z for Zotero. I'm going to select these four articles. I'm going to right click them and I'm going to create a bibliography from these items. By the way, if I wanted to create a footnote, I would click this, but I'm going to do a bibliography, so I'm going to go do this. I want the second one, the Chicago Manual Style Full Note. Say, save it to the clipboard. OK. Now go back to my Microsoft Word. I'm going to write Works Consulted. And I'm going to paste this. Now, this is not correct yet. There's all sorts of Zotero stuff on this. I've got to get rid of this DOI. I don't know what that means. I'm going to get rid of that. Um, and it's still not right. Let me let's let's just do this real quickly. We're going to select these. We're going to go to Home, because like footnotes, the work cited has to be single spaced yet double between. So I changed that to 12 point, and that looks much better. However, we have to have a URL. So I'm going to go to this document, which is in my resources, and look what it's supposed to look like. Let's see. After the page number, there's a comma with the URL, and then it's accessed then. OK. So let's, let's find. Um, we'll do this one. Cashin. Go back here to my Zotero and find Cashin. Oh, Cashin's here. I'm going to look for when, well, for what the URL was and when I accessed it. So I'm going to click this and select that URL. Copy 10, 17, 2013. 10, 17, 2013, 10, 17, 2013. Paste that. There we go. 10, 17, 2013, 10, 17, 2013. You know what? Is that how it really looks? Because I can't remember. Well, you know what? Let's get rid of that live link. I just don't like the live link. If you just go right before it and press backspace, you'll get rid of that. Let's go back to my example. And no, accessed. I gotta say access. So back to Microsoft Word. I gotta write accessed October. You know what? Is there a comma after that? I can't remember. Again, I'm just going back and forth, back and forth to my example. No, there's nothing. No, so that's perfect. Oops, there's a space there. Oh, get rid of that guy right there. So you, you're going to need to do this for all of these because. I presume you got all of these from ProQuest or JSTOR. If you got one from Rice, you wouldn't have that. You're also going to want to get rid of these um, capital letters. Once you've, um, you know what, you want to center this. Once you've, I would make a whole page of works consulted, and every time I use it in a footnote, I would copy it and put it on another page called Works Cited. So let's just do that right now. Let's insert page break. So now I've got a page here called Ah, uh, we're going to turn on our invisibles. You need, to, you need to be thinking about turning on invisibles. Here we go. There's your invisibles. It's going to be able to, we're going to be able to see what's going on. There's the page break, and there's my works consulted. So I need another page break, so I'm going to insert 
and yet again another page break which will now put me on this page and I'm going to call this works cited and I'll center that so every time I have a footnote I'll just take it off this works consulted I'm going to cut it control X will cut it off of that and then I'll put it on my works cited and you want to make sure you have the right number of books and articles on your works cited because you need to cite a certain number of work of books and articles so that's it